I'm about to do a road test and what I've done is routed my intake over to my exhaust manifold and this is basically pointing down can't see it but I probably should have shot a video but basically this thing the intake is over here pointing into the exhaust manifold so it's just open air it's loose on this side loose on that side and I did a road test and I was able to get my intake up to 80 degrees below 30 miles an hour and at between 55 and 70 miles an hour I had an intake of 75 degrees and my the ambient air during that test was approximately 55 degrees or 63 degrees something like that so right now what I'm gonna try to do is get the intake temperature up to 100 degrees and then check my OBD2 live data and see if my fuel economy improves and find the peak inlet temperature at which the fuel economy is best you know so the question is at what inlet temperature do you get the highest fuel economy that's the question I'm trying to answer I don't have the answer because I don't have you know 120 degree temperatures I you know with trying to control your uh, temperature going in here can be a challenge and there's plenty of heat coming off the exhaust manifold radiant heat so this basically just blocks the wind and I can't use plastic because it'll melt so basically it's just zip tied up here and down below I've used I just basically took a drill basically took a drill and self tappers if I can bring the self tappers over here let me pause this video and I'll show you the self tappers that I used okay these are the self tappers that I used to secure the sheet metal underneath and to try to block some of the wind so I don't lose my heat when I'm going 60 and 70 miles an hour okay hopefully I'll be able to get my intake temperature up to 90 to 100 degrees and we'll see what that does also these clamps are really good for holding down the sheet metal when you have to put in these self tappers because they can be a challenge they can kind of wiggle away from you so these these hop out pretty good I also tried this the sheet of aluminum uh, as, a, as a wind blocker that's a good alternative and uh, if I can't get my temperature up between 90 and 100 I might put some more blocks some air blocks on there okay so that's all I got showing for this project.